we're 35 minutes into this and this was the one from last week that I told them to change the receiver dryer had super bad moisture contamination and uh, they changed the front and rear expansion valves and uh, and I could not go down below 1400 microns on pulling a vacuum on this thing before just would not go and um, and when I turn it up it would always go up to about 2800 3000 and stop right there I'd vacuum it again flush nitrate it just would not go down it was so badly moisture contaminated and someone would say how do you know it's moisture contaminated because you could read it with a micron gauge now that I have a new desiccant material in there and I already flushed some refrigerant in there by charging it up during that test and I pulled that refrigerant out. It kind of sacrificed itself as a absorbent. Um, I put it on the vacuum pump and we are right down to 324 microns. And I could not do that before. Thank God we got a new receiver. And they go, well, what does, what does moisture do to the system? Other than causing oxides of corrosion on aluminum, making acids that attack aluminum and cause leaks, and I already made a video on this, but this was uh, the valve out of the uh, what is, out of the compressor. So this is the compressor. That's supposed to be a bright gold color. This is brass. It's supposed to be bright gold. That's supposed to be a bright gold color. And uh, I already handled it and took most of the black oxide has come off uh, by handling it. And I took an earlier video. You can see when it was darker before. You can see a little rubbing and sticking right there. But um, I replaced that and I showed the video. It, it only takes, your first time, it'll probably take you 10 minutes to replace this. Uh, the second time you replace it, it'll probably take you about five minutes to replace it. It's that easy. Uh, $19, okay, there's no excuse. And I see shops replace the compressors all the time because of this. Now you can tell where I'm working. Um, oh, they busted me. I released refrigerant to the air taking me away in handcuffs um, so yeah if you don't have moisture or oxygen mixed with your refrigerant you cannot have oxidation and this shows you in a hundred years this should be bright and shiny because there would be no contaminants we have to get rid of shops that screw people's cars up all right see you